is Sirius XM Doctor Radio. And now, from the heart of the NYU Langone Medical Center, this is Doctor Radio Coronavirus. Coronavirus. What you need to know now. Here is your host, Dr. Mark Siegel. Howard from Chicago. Welcome to the show. What's your question hello. for our psychiatrist? How you doing? Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, uh, I'm 80, almost 81 in a couple of months, and I feel terrific, and uh, and I look pretty good. So, But I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death. Right How's your now. overall health? Well, overall, I'm fine. You don't have any underlying I mean, big health problems? So, the, so the, it, Well, yeah, i got high blood pressure. You know, my cholesterol is, uh, I mean, I take a, a, a fistful of medicine. But the point is, will I die? Can I recover from it? So I listen, it? listen. Or is my heart just going to give up? No, look, look, look. I can't comment because I'm not your doctor. What I can tell you is that when we're talking about chronic health conditions, we're not talking about high blood pressure. We're talking about emphysema or, or cancer or severe diabetes or things that really uh, immunocompromised patients. We're not, so, that, so you don't have the comorbidities, the underlying health problems that would worry me. Having said that, 80 years old is a risk and male. So your risks of having a problem with this coronavirus are much greater than if you were nine years old. But you don't have the other issues, so I'm not worried per se. Okay, I, I would be more careful because of your age than somebody who's 10 years old. So that, that's my overall feeling. I, you should not be going around with worry, but I would be more cautious because of your age. I'd be doubly cautious if you had any of the other health problems. Does that help? No problem being respiratory, I mean, essentially. essentially. Uh, oh, respiratory, you said? Respiratory problems? Yeah. I don't have it. I mean, I never That's what I mean. So that so then that's good. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Eat right, sleep right. Try to get plenty of sleep. Keep the stress level down and exercise. All of that. Stay well hydrated. All of that decreases your risks of of either getting this or having complications. 